שלום, ברוכים הבאים, Welcome back. In this video, we will see what is happening with the pronunciation of bet, pay, and cuff when it comes to the verbs. Spoiler alert! You will not watch here a video and then you have all the rules at your hand. You know that I have published a 90-day course where we talk specifically also about that. I cannot put that in one video, but I want you to understand what kind of rules are out there, what to look for, and why it differs, and where to look it up. Okay, let's start. So, in this video, we talk about the verbs, and as I have mentioned already in the last video, um, the rules for the verbs depend on the binyan. So, let's compare to binyanim with this root here that starts with kaf. And by the way, like always, you can download these presentations from my blog. The link to the blog post is in the description of this video. Now, in pa'al, with this root, we have lichtov. Lichtov. So, now, in hit pa'al, we have lehitkatev. So, same root, but once we put no dagesh and once we do put a dagesh. Why is that? Let's have a look. We are looking here at infinitives and we are considering a root where the dagesh goes into the first root letter or not. But this is the only option that we have. Here, the first root letter is the one that gives us the challenge. And in this case, Pa'al infinitives simply do not put a dagesh on the first root letter, whereas hit pa'el, yes, they do. This is already one of the rules. This is what I say it goes by binyan. So pa'al reacts differently to a dagesh challenge than hit pa'el. Now, first root letter, what happens in pa'al and hit pa'el when we talk about the second root letter? For example, here in this root, lamet bet shin. Then in pa'al we have lil bosh, for example. So here we do put a dagesh, and in hit pa'el, le hit la besh. We also put a dagesh. It is not le hit la besh. That means there is a change in pa'al because before we didn't have a dagesh when we were talking about the first root letter, but on the second root letter we do put a dagesh and in hit pa'el there is no change. We had a dagesh before and we still have it. We also put it on the second root letter. Now, that means that the question dagesh or not, when it comes to the verbs, does not only depend on the binyan, it also depends on the tenses and on the root position. So here we were just talking about the infinitive and then you saw depending on whether it is the first or the second root position, there is a dagesh or not. To bring this to an end, pa'al and the first root position, let's see how it plays out through the conjugation. Lich tov that we have learned, there is no dagesh. Now we come to the present tense. It is hu kotev. Past tense, hu katav. And then future tense, hu yichtov. So, summary, there is no dagesh in the infinitive and the future tense, but there is in the present tense and the past tense. When we talk about a dagesh or not on the first root position. This is how it goes. The other verb that we have seen, lil bosh, let's see how it changes here. So here we do have a dagesh on the infinitive as we have already seen. When it now comes to the present tense, we have hu lovesh, past tense hu lavash, and future tense Hu yil bosh. Summary, it is the exact opposite. Here we have a dagesh in the infinitive, in the future tense, but we do not have a dagesh when it comes to the present tense and the past tense. And if you now compare the two 
On the right, we have a potential Dagesh on the first root position. And on the left, we have a potential Dagesh on the second root position. Then you see it's exactly opposite. When there is none in, in the infinitive for the first root position, then there is one for the second root position. I understand these are a lot of rules, but I just wanted to show you there are rules. It's not that there are no rules. When it comes to hit pael, super easy. I mean, come on, I already put it here together. Le hit katev, le hit la besh. There is always a dagesh when there is a chance to put one. Always, in all tenses and for all root positions. So in Hitpael, there is no question, there are only answers. And the answer is always put a Dagesh when you can. Now, where to look this up? In the Barons. Barons 501 Hebrew verbs, I say it all over again. Guys, this is the Bible. And of course, and the other possibility is, of course, to study with my 90 day course, but just saying. So, I hope you liked it. I hope I, it gave you some um, enlightenment. And um, yeah, I see you in the next video. Neshikot. Shalom.